Hey guys, what's up? This is Giles, and I'm here with Kosh. Hello! And we have a very special guest today. We have uh, Molly, the community manager of Starbound with us. Hi! And uh, she's going to answer some pretty cool questions for us today. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so um, Molly, do you have any big plans for the release of Starbound as far as the community, such as live streams, parties, all that sort of stuff? Um, well, we definitely want to do... I know we want to do, like, live streams and things like that. Um, the team isn't all living in one place, so we can't really have, like, a, a release party or anything like that. Um, it'd be awesome if we could. Uh, the first time, I think a lot of us are actually going to be meeting face-to-face -face is um, at I-49 in August, so th that's, that's that. Um, but as far as the community with release, uh, we definitely want to have some you know, contests and things, we definitely want to um, make sure that it's exciting for uh, the people who have been involved with the community for a long time, as well as the people that are going to be coming into the community as, um, you know, new members and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, do you reckon you guys will support other people's release date projects if they have any, such as 24-hour live streams and uh, mass giveaways on Twitch and all those sort of things? Oh yeah, we'll be, um, I'll, I'll try to retweet as many as I can find for uh, people that are like giving things away or streaming or whatnot. <laughs> what is your favorite feature of the game? Um, that's always a really hard question to answer because I really like a lot of, I, I like all the features of Starbound. I really like building things. I, I like just the basic sandboxy features, but I think one of, um, one of the really big draws of the game for people is going to be that not only do we have you know um, the features of, of a sandbox game your typical sandbox game but we have um, a lot of lore in the game and there's you can get as involved as you want or you can sort of be as casual as you want about it and it still kind of has something for everybody so um, I really like how in depth we're going with the lore because it adds sort of like it adds another dimension for people who want that. Yeah, yeah, I've been um, yeah. following the lore pretty strongly with like all the the daily updates and stuff, and it seems like each planet's just got each race has got their own backstory, and it's it's really expansive. Gods. Yeah. I also like the god thing. Do um do all the races have their own god? Um, not really. Uh, I mean, I think the avian are the most religious of the races. Um, I think we don't really delve into that as much with the other races. I, I, I mean, the the Apex have their glorious leader, Big Ape, and um, the Florins are just kind of these barbarians and and stuff like that. So I think the Avians are are mostly the the godly, pious ones. Right. right. And, um, this is a question I just thought of, but mm -hmm. I've been wanting to know for a long time. How are Glitch conceived? Like, how are they born? How are they actually born? Yes. Um, that's a good question because <laughs> I'm not really. I don't know if that's really been like fully thought out. I know that the glitch, in general, were programmed um, to be a simulation of real life, and they were meant to progress. Like they're meant to be a civilization, like huh. a game of civilization, basically. And they were meant to start from, you know, the Dark Ages, and they were meant to progress and progress. And they they kind of, some of them stopped around the Middle Ages, and that's why they're called the Glitch. Oh, because yeah, they, they glitched. Um, so that's why they have sort of that medieval um, aesthetic to them. And yeah, they, cool. they think that they're medieval citizens and all that, so. I see. Are there any personal touches you've added to the game? Um, well, I did a lot of the object descriptions. Uh, I know a lot of them are changing right now because uh, Ty went back and rewrote all of the descriptions for each race. But, I mean, all objects still have like a common description in case people want to add their own races and then don't want to write out another descriptor for it, etc. A lot of the default item descriptions are mine. <laughs> and. Um, I've been responsible for writing the food menu for um, the recipes, so 
each race has um, its own sort of default set of recipes. And I mean, Cute. you can eventually learn to make kind of anything. But yeah, I, I'm responsible for coming up for the recipes. <laughs> so, so how extensive is the uh, farming side of the game? Can you, do you actually have to make each and every ingredient to the recipe? Um, it can be kind of, it can be as extensive as you want it to be, I guess. I mean, um, you can grow, I guess in that way you can kind of grow your own like corn and vegetables and things like that, or you could buy them off someone. Um, but it's it's not too in depth. Like you're not gonna find like every single ingredient that you usually need to bake a cake in the cake recipe. It's gonna be more just the flour. Items. Yeah, like wheat and eggs and and sugar, I guess. <laughs> Can we expect any kosh burgers in the menu? Kosh burgers. Um, we have an alien burger. That's close mm, enough. That, That's close okay. good enough. <laughs> or, or maybe a, a watermelon burger would be. Just even closer, but an alien burger, yeah, yeah. that'll do. <laughs> um, what do you like to see in the Starbound community? Um, I really like to see how welcoming people are. I like to see, um, you know, in-depth discussions going on and really all the really, really well thought out suggestions that people have for the game and, um, just how involved everybody is. Everybody gets really, really involved in it, and it's really interesting. Even when people sort of, um, sort of get really worked up about certain things, it's because they're interested in what we're making, and that, in itself, is really, is really good. I think. Like that, uh, the whole flora and intro thing that happened <laughs> not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just because people care. And they want to, they want to see, um, they want to see things, you know, the way that they want to see them, and that's because they're excited for the game. So I, it's understandable. Well, have you noticed mm -hmm. that that's turned into a meme now? Has it? <laughs> it has. That everybody's been replacing the faces, like Ty did when when he put <laughs> a troll face on. Now everyone's doing it with different faces, and it's um, there's a couple of threads on it, and it's got pretty extensive, I think. That's amazing. Oh, I so, haven't seen that because I've been working all day, but... <laughs> I have to get you the link after this, but yeah, uh, the first ever meme was created by your doing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Uh, so Molly, can you explain mm. the Goss part of your name? Did it originate from the WoW character Molly Goss? Molly Goss? Yeah. Yeah, it did. It did? I have uh -huh. actually... <laughs> I have actually never played World of Warcraft. That was one of one MMO that I did not get into. I just completely avoided it. But friends did, and then um, for some reason they started calling me Molly Goss. So I just kind of went with it, <laughs> and it stuck. We've noticed that you like the DS. As a kid, did you have a Game Boy? I did. I still have it. Um, it Which one? The, I have the Game Boy Color. Um, it's the purple one. Oh, and I had the Pokemon awesome. one. Oh man, I was green. <laughs> I still like, you know, break it out sometimes and try to play some Pokemon. But then I realize that it is kind of just a nostalgia thing. Like I can't really play Pokemon Blue for more than two hours, so it, it's not as fun as it used to be. <laughs> but I loved them as a kid, and um, I only just recently got a 3DS, and I am liking it a lot, but mostly because of Animal Crossing. So. Are you ready so, for this, Molly? Okay. You have I think one minute. So. You have yeah, one minute seconds. to answer as many questions as possible. Oh God. Gosh, you're gonna ask the questions. I am. Okay, I'll do the timer. All right. Uh, tell me when. All right, and go. What is your favorite console company, Nintendo, Sony, or Xbox? Oh God, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. Sony, I guess. I All have right, a PS3. What is, what is your favorite color? Um, purple. Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or Charmander? Squirtle. What Starbound race is your favorite? Um, Apex. <laughs> your favorite game is? Morrowind. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Cats. Favorite cartoon series? Shit, um, I like Ren and Stimpy a lot. <laughs> when I was sure. little. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Diet Coke. Favorite country? Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Favorite movie? <laughs> um, uh, crap. Okay, uh, I like Forrest Gump a lot. 
I don't know. All right. Most hated celebrity. I don't hate any celebrities. That's that's, that's a waste an answer, of time. That's an answer. <laughs> Marvel okay. or DC? Um, uh, DC. Okay, Do you like time watermelon? Time. Ah. Do okay, I like answer, what? Answer the last one. Watermelon. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's let's tally Whoa. these score up. Okay. That's thirteen answers in sixty seconds. Woo! Is that the high score, or am I the first person? Well, technically you're the first person, but we practiced with Kosh oh. before. Kosh oh. got seventeen. I was Aww. I was cheating. But he's he's read all the questions. questions you know. <laughs> yeah. So so you did really well. Um, yeah. Nice. Awesome job. So thanks for doing this with us, and uh, no problem. Hopefully, we can have you on our show in the future sometime. Maybe before or after release. Maybe sure. invite you to one of our live streams in the future. Cool. Yeah. That could be cool. <laughs> so uh, yeah. thank you, and thank everyone for watching. Uh, I am Jaws, and I'm Koshberger. And we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.